Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey, and another edition with Scott Manchester. And here we are talking about Windows Virtual Desktop. If you missed the last show, I would recommend you watch it. It was riveting. 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 And now we have another riveting show. If our tone doesn't give it away, I think the show will. We're, we're pretty excited about what we got to show you here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am very excited about this, truth be told. Um, so, so the cool thing that, that so we saw last time, and, and Scott talked about um, uh, the capabilities of Windows Virtual Desktop and how great it is um, uh, to enable sort of this uh, combination of PASI experience with legacy apps, which is great. What we want to show today, though, is the experiences around the amount of devices that you can use with that Windows Virtual Desktop. One of the things that we see from a lot of corporate customers is the desire to use a, a wide variety of devices and oftentimes locked down or controlled devices, right? And so tell us a little bit about one, what we're doing with that and sort of, and then what we're gonna demo today, which I'm excited to see. Yeah, you're right. More and more enterprise customers are moving to this BYOD model. Of course, right? so someone might bring in their own, you know, Windows PC. Maybe it's running an older version of Windows yeah. or a Mac or an Android device. That's right. Um, so they want to be able to leverage those resources and, and allow them controlled access to their virtualized environment. So by pair, pairing with Intune, you can you can ensure that those devices meet some 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 security lockdown. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we make clients for Windows Virtual Desktop for pretty much any, any platform out there. Wow. So we make iOS and Android, Mac, of course, Windows clients, and even an HTML5 client. So if you've got a device you just want to get browser access, yeah. super simple, just, you know, I, I do this at the airport almost every time I'm traveling. Cause Cause I hop on the kiosk and log into my, my large Azure GPU back VM. That's right. Whatever you had running, whatever you had up and going, right? You can just yeah. kick it back up people again. People walking behind me see me running, uh, you know, Photoshop, and they're like, "How are you running that on this yeah. old, <laughs> this <laughs> tiny little device?" That's right. Yeah. And so, and so, the device that we wanted to show today, um, uh, tell us a little bit about this device and sort of the limitations that it has. Yeah. So actually. It has limitations maybe without the WVD service, but those two things paired really, really make this a very Limitless. attractive Limitless. Limitless. Like, like that pill from that yeah. movie. That's right, the yeah. blue one, right? Yeah, that's the red right. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is actually a Surface Go. Uh, and it has pretty modest you know, parameters in terms of memory and CPU uh, support, but it's actually a pretty great machine for just doing your average activities. Of course. Uh, but you package this thing up with a WVD service, and this thing really becomes a, a powerhouse. That's right. right? That's right. That's plus, right. plus, this particular machine is running in S mode. Right. So it's a lockdown instance of That's Windows. Right. Um, which, which customers may want. It sort of requires you, it, it means you can't install sort of apps that aren't in the marketplace, right? That's so, right. So if you're working in a, a regulated industry or something where they really need to ensure they've got tight security on access to their virtualized right. environment, this, this is a great choice. And uh, what we'll be showing here in a minute is our new uh, Win32 app. That's that's Microsoft signed that can be installed. That can be SMO. used now as part of this SMO. That's right. And that gives you then device. The full access with a rich client yeah. into the WBD environment. Very cool. Yeah. So I, let's dig into it. But one thing that will tell you, because it's S mode setup, it doesn't actually allow us to run the capture software we normally use for these demos. And so we're going to need Rick to actually do a little work here um, and come around <laughs> and actually show sort of what we're looking at on the screen. It is that secure that we actually can't even capture the screen. Which is really probably a pretty common scenario, right? If That's you're right. in a medical field or yeah. financial services. You probably don't want that. I don't want people awesome. installing That's right. Camtasia That's right. uh, and recording everything that's happening that's on right. the screen. That's right. So, yeah, come on around. So let's try to take a little look here. All right. So first off, I want to show you, this is our new, um, uh, what we call our OOB client, or out-of-box client. Okay. This thing can be installed on Windows 7 all the, way th all the way through the latest version of Windows sure. 10. So it gives you a consistent client experience that, that IT admins can deploy. Interesting. Uh, and so this is, this is the experience right here that we're looking at. Got it. Yeah, and Got so you it. have subscribed to a service from a, a pretend company, WVD Contoso, where they sure. shared a group of apps and, and Windows desktops, and even a Windows 7 uh, desktop. To so they can run these apps. They can just click and run these apps, and yep. they basically will virtualize the apps. And these apps also, when I when I launch this for the first time, it'll take all these apps and actually puts them in the start menu. So I can actually access them. I don't right. really need to use this but app. They're now, but they're using both the network and the compute power of whatever the That's machines right. that they're, they're hosted on. Running up in the cloud. So there's that, all those resources that are in the app. They're also right here in my start menu And you menu can pin well. them down here. So then they just pin them in the start menu you on this box frankly, that normally maybe not even be able to run them. That's right. And frankly, you, you kind of forget that they're actually running in the cloud. Yeah, they yeah, so you don't care. Exactly. So in fact, um, let's take a quick look at this at the system settings on on uh, on this machine. So it's actually you know reasonable it's machine. Okay. Intel yeah. Penta machine with eight gigs of memory. Mm -hmm. But now let's take a look at the machine that I'm running in the cloud here. And let's take a look at 
what I've got up here. So here I've got an eight core, whoops, nope. 32 gig machine that I'm running up here. Oh, well, you saw it quickly. So let's take a look at what that experience is running this uh, from an Azure back. Sure. So one of the interesting things to do is to compare the internet connection speed I right. have when I'm running a VM up in Azure versus what I have here locally. So let's just run this little speed test here and see what kind of performance we get out of this machine. You can see we're pegging this thing, six, seven hundred megabits per second. Ooh. And actually full reveal here, Corey, I'm actually running this over LTE right now. So, so you're maybe... connected to this machine in the cloud yeah. using just an LTV wireless network. That's right. And yet this machine in the cloud is now able to get that type of upload download speeds. That's right, and that's really important. So if I'm moving around large files in the cloud, I'm dealing with you know OneDrive files and things like that's that. That's right, like you've got so videos, you've faster. got things like this. Yep. Yeah, you're not now having to copy them to this local machine. You just need to be able to remote desktop onto your Windows virtual desktop, that's and right. then you can get that access. And let me show you how, how well this actually performs. Even, even with this low speed, somewhat higher latency network, you're gonna yeah. see even, even things like Pen actually works pretty well. So let's go here. So we'll go into uh, OneNote and just show you know, the typical hello world. Uh, just awesome. So the pen just works just fluidly. Yeah, just like you can say it's pretty that. smooth. You know, I think if I was an artist, you know, this may not be something I'd want to use uh, day in, day out, but just general usage with pen sure. actually works Sure, works really, really yeah, well. Yeah. For general just for usage. notes and, and, and copying yeah. and pasting or clipping or whatever. Something like go into here and, and grab a, you know, grab this screenshot, show off the, the great performance you had on the, the wireless connection. If I want to just grab this and take it into one note here and just paste it right so there you really go. cool penning scenarios here super super fluid experience absolutely yeah yeah and, and you'd kind of forget sometimes that you're even running in a virtualized environment you know which is perfect if I mouse up I can see I'm actually running in this remote machine I can minimize it and I'm back here to my local machine and you said yeah and so you said this is running actually let's just pull that up to show that off here is actually running a Verizon wireless LTE connection. So yeah. you're not even using Great the performance. So this is a, a, a wonderful device to carry around. It's really lightweight. In fact, my case doesn't even have a spot for a charger because the battery life on this yeah. is so long. And so other and so you could connect this even with things like Multimon. You could do all kinds of things that normally you sort of uh, may sort of strap this machine, right? You can now use it for all types of cool scenarios like that. Yeah, I've got a Surface Dock and I've got it backed up to a, a, a 2K display in my office and, and actually two 2K yeah. displays. And even over the remote connection, I'm able to host those two large displays yep. of the VM up in Azure. And again, of course, as, as, as sort of we talked about, the secure, security of this device, especially when it's locked down like this, right? You lose this device, there's nothing on it. That's right. And it's a very cost-effective device, too. So right. To know, lose a cost-effective device. So they don't want to lose it. But I, mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing that's that <laughs> cost-effective. But, but if you're going to lose a device, better this than that Azure machine that's huge and, and uh, gigantic with lots of GPUs and memory and so on and so forth. Yeah, exactly. Very and, cool. And you, the very low cost to get into you know a device like this. Got it. Packaged up with Intune and, and, and office productivity experiences, this is a pretty rich experience. Got it. So Scott, can people go? People can go do can go sign up for this. Get going on this right now. Is that Public correct? Public preview is live right now. So yeah. people can go to the go and get yep. get get on and start playing. Aka.ms/wvd. Great. Is all the we didn't say that in the last video, by the way. So we'll need to tweet that out. AKA, we'll overlay. We'll yeah. Aka.ms/wvd. Remember, kind of rolls off the tongue too. I'm it sure does. It. WVD. It's very <laughs> nice. Windows Virtual Desktop. Not to be confused with TWC Tuesdays with Corey. Which, if you've got questions, got any comments, you got any additional things you want to see, hashtag Azure TWC. And with that, Scott, anything else? No. That's you. You're, to. you're spent. That's I'm it. Done. That's right. We are all riveted out. So have a wonderful Tuesday. You have a wonderful Tuesday. Thank it you. Actually, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. It is. I do. What do you mean? Is it that actually is. It always is Tuesdays <laughs> when these videos are filmed, sir. How dare you? You you knocked down the fourth wall. I don't like it. <laughs> Have a wonderful Tuesday. Wonderful Tuesday. And thank you so much. Talk about yeah. yeah. You know, all the clients we support, and then we'll say, let me show you our new our newest client. Great. Say it's running on Windows 10 in this mode, yeah. Cool. All right, you ready? Running. Right